so it covered soil. Um, evidence of an organism, no. Soil movement, yes, I think we've got soil movement. There's a bank here, there's some litter banks. So, you know, the water's washed and it's got this bank going on here, so I think we have to put soil movement. So uh, we, we do biological monitoring so that we can check that what we're doing in the field and the paddock is working and that means that our water cycle is means that water is going into our soil it means that micro the minerals are being cycled into the soil it also means that we're capturing as much sunlight as possible with big broad leaf grasses and and lots of tight plant spacings it also means that we've got a, a diversity of ages of our plants and also a diversity of animals that we're checking to see if, they're, if there's ants, if there's large animals like kangaroos and large animals like cows that obviously we're managing. It means that we have a diversity of animals and we also register what species of grasses are in the paddock. So that gives us the diversity of grassland. We're trying to ensure we have lots of perennials which are available year round. So we, they're capturing sunlight the whole year and we want lots of them, very, very tight spacings, but we want a diversity of age structures. We want seedlings and we want matures, mature ones, old ones. We're also wanting to make sure that we have redu we're reducing our bare ground. We don't want crusting. We don't want any crusting and we want to make sure that the water is going into our soil. So that the, the biological monitoring makes us realize what we have to change next year to get a better result. So our management has to change to improve the biological results we're getting from the soil surface. So that's, that's why we do our biological monitoring. Our results are showing that at our first site a stump we actually have quite a lot of soil movement, which means the water is running across the land and that's not very good. We need to ensure that water is going in. Whereas in this site we're at at the moment, I think um, the, the issue might be a bit of bare ground, uh, bare soil, um, and also maybe some recent, recent um, uh, crusting. This area actually is surprisingly good. There's a lot of litter and it's quite soft and spongy and it's, uh, it's actually interesting. It's, it's got a lot of diversity of species. It's got forbs, it's got some grasses, it's got shrubs. So it's, it's going all right. It, it's obviously could have a lot more plants. I think there's a lot of gaps between plant spacings, you know, and it needs filling in. We need to fill in and we can do that by grazing a higher density of animals so pushing all the animals together and having them here in this spot or in this paddock for a short period of time but they're too spread out at the moment so we're not getting the impact on the soil. <laughs>